Hi Jan and anybody else listening to this uh, or watching this, this clip. Uh, this is Tim Garman, uh, facilitator for SIT on DDP 106 Photoshop. And I'm just going to show you, Jan, how to uh, set up a scratch disk. And the first thing to say is that you're on a PC and I'm on a Mac. And in most cases, they're identical for Photoshop. Uh, but there are one or two differences, and this sadly happens to be one of them. Um, but it's not a major. Uh, to set up a scratch disk, the idea is that we have an external hard drive plugged in and switched on. Uh, and we use that to store the temporary files that Photoshop makes as you're working on a, a job. And uh, these can often get large and slow your computer down. So uh, this having a, an external hard drive to give yourself some more memory can speed things up in some instances. So this is how we do it. Now on my Mac, up at the Photoshop menu at the top, if I click, uh, I have preferences here. Now on a PC, it's in a different place and you'll find it under edit. Obviously it's not here because I'm on a Mac. So where I'm looking here for preferences, you need to look under edit. But once you get there, it's, it should be the same. So you find preferences and you can actually go into general and set up a whole load of uh, things so that Photoshop works uh, in the way you want it to. And often we change things like the uh, units uh, that you use to measure different distances. Sometimes it's set to pixels and you might want millimeters. Uh, in this instance, we want scratch disks. So that, that's where it is. And we've got a menu entitled scratch disks. If I select that, you'll see we get this box and it lists uh, your hard drive. That's the one in the computer. And if you've got a, 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 an external hard drive, it will be listed here. Now, I've actually got two plugged into mine. I've got a portable one and I've got a, a larger archive. And actually, there's not much space left on my, my archive. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I'm going to use my portable one in second place. You can actually change the order of these just by clicking these two arrow keys. You can swap the orders around in in terms of which uh, disk is a priority for Photoshop to use. So at the moment, I've got my hard disk on the computer as number one. So it'll use that. If it runs out of space, it'll start to use my portable drive. So you set yours up how you want it in terms of the order of priority, but tick this box to say that you want your external hard drive uh, to be uh, an active scratch disk. And that's, that's all there is to it really. You just do that and click OK. End of story.